Yeah, you oh. could. That'd be good. Really good. Today we are gonna be making pasta carbonara. This used to be one of my favorite pastas and I always thought pasta carbonara meant cream sauce, like slightly lighter than Alfredo, until Kevin made it for us. When we graduated college, and we were just working and staying in St. Louis, he made it for us once and I was like, oh, I didn't know the sauce was basically just egg and cheese. Like I had wow. no idea. When I went to Italy and I tried it, I literally fell in love because it is the most simple but the tastiest pastas, I think. So today we are gonna be making pasta carbonara and also carbonara suppli. And I had this also when I was in Italy and it was so good. Gino said it was the best thing he had in Italy. So let's go right ahead and check out these ingredients. So we need three eggs total. We need two egg yolks and one whole egg. So separate the egg for the egg yolk. And we're gonna whisk this using a fork. And the cheese we'll be using is Pecorino Romano. This has a more sharp taste than Parmesan. And let's add in our Pecorino cheese. Try to use this instead of already ground black pepper because I feel like it makes a very big difference. And this is our sauce. We're gonna set this aside. In the meantime, let's boil a pot of water to cook our noodles. For today, we will be using pancetta. And if you can't find pancetta, you can use bacon. I found my pancetta at Trader Joe's. So I think without a doubt, every time I went, I was able to find it. But traditional carbonara, I think they use guanciella is what it's called. I was not able to find it, which is why I just stayed with pancetta. Let's cook this until it's golden brown and let's add several cranks of black pepper to this as well. That smells like spam. A little bit, yeah, it does. Let's cook our spaghetti until al dente, so that's about six to seven minutes. And also reserve some pasta water for later. Let's add the pasta into this pan of pancetta. I believe that pasta carbonara is one of the easier pastas to make. And it's just so true to its ingredients. It's so tasty, so simple. When simple dishes like this taste good, that, like you can't beat that. We wanna make sure the pasta noodles are fully cooked because it does further cook in here. Get off the heat. We don't want the egg to cook, so we want to make sure this is somewhat cool before we add the egg mixture in. and give it a mix. I'm gonna add this in to break up the thickness. Wow, that's so good. Pasta carbonara is done. Thank you. 
So I did a little testing of the carbonara yesterday just to make sure it's the perfect recipe to share with you guys. So this has already been refrigerated. I'm going to now cut this into squares and mold them into balls and freeze it for about an hour or two and then we're going to batter it up and deep fry them. So I think about this size is good. I think at Bonchi is about this size. I don't want it any bigger or smaller. Do you guys know what it's time for? of the day is boksu, which means revenge or to avenge. We use this word because we just finished watching The Glory season two on Netflix. If you guys have not watched it, please make sure to do so because it was, I think, my favorite drama. Like, I wanna rewatch it. And I think they're thinking about season three because they left it very open-ended at the end. It was the best drama in my opinion. I just loved everything about it. I loved every single character, I feel like Every character was an amazing actor or actress. The whole storyline was amazing. The main character, she plots a revenge for over 20 years against the people who bullied her in high school. And Grace and I talked about how far would you go for revenge? I don't think I can go to the degree of to the like killing. Yeah. Well, she, well, she didn't either. Didn't but I don't think I can go to that degree. Mm -hmm. But I think I could devote 20 years of my life to do it, oh to do gosh. something. You're psychotic. <laughs> don't get on your bad side. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, so don't get on my bad side. I'm just kidding. If you guys have time and need something good to watch, The Glory is the show to watch. So today's word of the day is poksu, which means revenge or to avenge. Okay, so we have an hour that passed. We need two eggs. Twist this up. I really think you guys should check out our travel vlogs if you guys haven't. So we also went to Bonchi, which I saw on Netflix on the, it was like a pizza documentary type thing. And it was this guy who makes affordable pizzas. And he was like a star celebrity chef in Italy. So we really wanted to go check it out. And we had one of their more popular items, which was the carbonara suppli. Suppli is similar to an arancini. The carbonara suppli was so delicious. Like Chio said that was the number one thing he had. I think for me it was pasta or it was pizza but for him he said the carbonara suppli was amazing so that's the one thing he wishes he can eat again if he were to pick one thing to eat from Italy again so these cook very quick and you don't have to like really fully cook it because technically it's already cooked We are gonna eat now. Ella is here too. You wanna start off with this? It got, it's a little cold now. Plus the carbonara. <gasps> There's a little cold, but it's still good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ella's um, very interested. Mm, <laughs> mm. You wanna try one of the split ones? Yeah. Mmm. How is it? Really good. Mmm, I like it. But then again, I like anything deep fried, so. Mmm. I wasn't sure because Supli usually has cheese in the middle. Oh. Whereas in these don't, but I don't remember the carbonara being that cheesy, so that's why I didn't add it. Mm. But if you guys want to make it really cheesy, you could add like a little square piece of mozzarella cheese in there. That'd be good. Ali wants some? Mm. It's really good. I love carbonara. He surely wants it. 
considering that it's like mostly just cheese, deep fried, egg, yolk, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. pretty light. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. If you guys have any questions or want to leave a comment, feel free to. And we'll see you guys on our next video.